Hey YouTube, it's Gentleman's Nine. Just leaving the doctor's office at my three month checkup. Everything's looking good. For all good as can be, I guess. So. so the doctor made a comment uh, about my helmet. So I'm actually wearing my motorcycle gear into the doctor's office doctor's office. Said my helmet looked like the Death Star or something. So I have a, I'm wearing my G-Max GM67 or something. That's so where G-Max's modular helmet is. And I'm guessing right now it's a ton of wind noise because I can barely hear myself talking. But I didn't buy it for comfort and quietness. I bought it just because I wanted modular. I didn't know how often I'd wear it. This, uh, if you haven't noticed, this camera view is a little bit different. This one's actually stuck to the side of my helmet. On the G-Max, uh, it's got an internal sun shield. There's no way I can mount it on top because there's a slider on top. Ooh, it's loud. Oh, it's also windier. Windier than a bastard today. It's like 25, 30 miles an hour plus gusts up to like 40, 45 miles an hour. Crazy. I can totally feel it. One of the odds he's going to speed up. Not so good. I don't know if you can see that flag. It's blowing like crazy. So after work yesterday, I got home kind of late. Uh, Jenny had, hadn't come home yet, so I was trying to clean up the place a little bit. And at one point I had... I, had the, I still had the box of screws, the ones that uh, I used to mark up as Big Bill Chicago's screws that he secretly tried to plant in front of my scooter, but you know. Anyways, I was taking the box downstairs and I opened up the door to the basement. I'm looking down and I'm like, what the? So basically, our sump pump had stopped working. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. Basically, uh, our basement had water in it, so... Obviously the floor isn't quite level, so <clears throat> I would say maybe 20% of the floor is covered and those sections that were covered, some parts were like half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyways, I did the standard, I walked over to the uh, circuit breaker panel thing and checked to see if the circuit breakers were, any of them were tripped. Of course they weren't, so then I headed over to the sump pump, I unplugged it, and then I had a vacuum cleaner there, so of course I'm not in the water, right, so I plugged in the vacuum cleaner, of course the vacuum cleaner turned on from that outlet, so I uh, unscrewed the pipe, brought the sump pump out of the, the, the pit thing, and then I turned on, I plugged it in, and I manually tripped the little buoy thing, and of course it came on. So, you know, I stuck it back in the, in the well, and of course it started draining water, uh, but it wouldn't, s well it drank for a long time, but anyways, the, uh, I noticed that all the water that was in the basement was starting to flow towards the sump, so that was good, or the pit, so that was good, it was slowly draining, that was eventually when it finally started to empty the water that was actually in the, the, the well itself, you know, obviously it tripped off, and then it would trip back on because there's still water from the outside coming in, um, but at one point it didn't actually trip, so I pulled it back out again, so that little buoy thing was covered in lime and what was going on was because there was so much lime on it, it weighted down the buoy so the buoy didn't have enough buoyancy to trip the, the little lever to turn the pump on so I I broke off all the lime and of course it's worked ever since so that was yesterday but uh, we've got a lot of stuff that's wet well, fortunately most of our stuff is in plastic containers so that's good uh, obviously the boxes that we had were are now destroyed uh, we had a couple our basement's unfinished, so we had a bunch of uh, uh, rugs, mats, whatever you want to call it. Those are completely soaked in water. So Jenny and I stayed up until like maybe 1 a.m. or so. Trying to move stuff around, suck up some of the water. So that's my job tonight. I get to go back home and continue the drying process. Hopefully it's kind of cleared up. Oh, I should also say this. 
So once the pump was working again, you know, drained it all the way to the bottom, what I did was I turned the pump off. Because I swear to God, this never... I had actually tested this before, and it, there was no chance of it flooding. So I turned the pump off, the water's coming into the pump, or the well, and once it gets to a certain point, it actually stops coming in. It stopped, the, the water level stopped rising. And it, it did the same thing this time as it did the first time I had tested this. So the water wasn't actually coming from the well. What had actually happened is the water on the foundation, or whatever you want to call it, was basically coming up through the... So the foundation sits there, and then the, there's a concrete slab that is basically our basement floor. It was coming up wherever there were cracks. It, that's actually where the water was coming up through. So I don't know if that's good or what, but... Uh, can't necessarily say that our pump failed, but our basement floor was obviously not meant to keep water out, which it's not meant to, because if you look at it, it was... It's kind of like a concrete slab that's kind of set into the foundation floor, if you want to call it that. I don't know, I'm not a... I'm not a carpenter or anything like that, or, a, or whatever, so I don't really know the technical terms. Anyways! That's what I get to do tonight. Ride home in the high wind and clean a basement. I hope you guys are having much more fun than I am. Alright, Gentleman's Nine, signing out. Talk to you later. Bye. Hey YouTube, this is Gentleman's Nine. Just leaving the doctor. I had a doctor's appointment, regular family checkup type thing. Let me start again. Hey YouTube, it's Gentleman Zine. Just leaving the doctor. I should just give this up, huh?